compete against other players to build the best districts in the board game, Chang'an. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Chang'an is a card laying game for two to four players that plays in about 30 to 45 minutes. It's being published by Deer Games. Now they're sponsoring this overview video and they sent us this prototype copy to look at. It's coming to Kickstarter. At the beginning of the game, you'll choose a number of city decks. You can choose the kind you want, but the number of decks is determined by the number of players as stated in the rules. You'll shuffle the decks chosen into one face-down pile, revealing three of the cards. There's a general resource pile. Each player receives a board, a coin, and a wheat, and four city cards that go into their hand. Here's a quick overview of the game. Players are going to be taking actions during the game to research, produce, and build, placing cards in their gates, and then eventually into their city districts. The end of the game is triggered when one player builds nine or more cards in their city districts. On your turn, you can choose one action to perform, like researching, which is basically getting a city card into your hand from the deck or the display. Producing, you can play or rearrange the cards in your gates. Played cards must go on one gate, up to three total cards. When moving, they go from different gates one at a time to one single gate. A gate can only have up to three cards, and then you activate that gate, gaining the resources equal to the number of cards in the gate plus one. You're getting the resource that matches the gate, not all that you might see on the cards. And then any characters activate that are in the corresponding district. If you build, that's the third type of action, you are taking the topmost card from any gate and placing it in an available space in your district, paying the required cost. Some cards even have an additional cost like a coin. Some cards have immediate effects, which you would do immediately. Once per turn, you can also purchase a resource for two coins and or steal a card from another player's gate. That does cost you some stone depending on the placement of the card, and the targeted player does gain a wheat from the supply. Those are sort of free actions. The end of the game is triggered when a player has nine or more cards built in their district. You'll complete the current round so everyone gets an equal number of turns, and then you can count up all the points to see who wins. Points for cards built in your districts, more points if they're built in the second or a third rows, points if you have three characters in a row, five points if you have certain cards in the second row, points on the cards in your districts, any game end points, sort of end game goals, and then points based on the number of resources and cards left in your hand. The player with the most points wins. This game will probably remind you a little bit of a tableau building game, but it comes with a few twists. First, you're moving cards from your hand to your gates, and then from the gates to your districts. This creates lots of different decisions because you can even move cards from between gates throughout the game. You want the best cards in your districts to score points. As I just said in scoring, you need certain cards in certain places to score even more points. I found the experience interesting as I was moving cards to the gates because that not only activates that specific gate, gaining you more resources, but also puts the cards on your board in a different order. So sometimes, I'm just trying to arrange the cards in a specific way so I can gain access to a card that I want to build later. And having characters in your districts is really helpful as they give different kinds of benefits. Some give you immediate benefits, others ongoing abilities, and some end game points. Every game is different, not just because of the number of cards and ones that you're gonna choose for your districts, but also the different deck types that you choose to play with. There are five deck types, production, trade, science, politics, and military. This reminds me a little bit of Seven Wonders with the different kinds of cards, but the interplay of the decks will change up your strategy from game to game. The types of cards matches the theme of that deck, like the science deck has a lot more books in it, for instance. Now, this is just a prototype, but I think you can get a good sense of the graphic design you're seeing in the game and the art as well. You may wonder what some of the icons mean, but there's a help sheet in the rules that explain everything, which is very helpful. 
Like I said earlier, I would put this type of game in a tableau building type game, and it feels like a streamlined sort of city building. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, then check out Chang'an from Dear Games on Kickstarter.